Previously on Wonderfalls. I'm confused. That's perfectly normal. Perfectly normal. I need to talk to you about the monkey. What monkey? The one you stole from Dr. Ron's office. He'd like it back, and he's got it all on tape. Oh. Okay, then I guess I have the monkey. Your sister. You ever do anything like this before? This is her fourth arrest. So it's not just the cow creamer. Uh-uh. I want it to be over. This is a good idea. What are you going to do with them? Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Talk to me. Please. You love her? You have to tell her. Not until she tells me. I think I might love him. You have to tell him. Hi. I have something to say. Uh? Shut it. Uh? This is Heidi. My wife. Eric, please. If I Marry me again. Fine. Really? There's an all night chapel. Spring Street, isn't it? Rainbow Boulevard. Thanks. So you could Asking yourself, how did I get here? What could I have possibly done to deserve this? Tell me why. Why make me make the man I love remarry his hussy bride? How is that helpful? What does that benefit besides the hussy? Because I'm not in the business of benefiting hussies. Tell me there's a reason. So be it. No answers, no mercy. I'm finished. You want me to be alone? I'll be alone. I'll be alone after I melt or set fire to each and every one of you. So anybody that hasn't talked yet, that's been thinking about talking, let this be a warning. Break silver. <laughs> What's burning? Have you fixed it? Yet, still broken. If you buy six of them, you're really only paying for three. Mm. Hello, sweetheart. Hi. You look puffy. Have you been crying? I'll give you a bear if we don't talk about it. I'll give you a monkey if we do. I found it in your brother's room. Really? Mm hmm He's very concerned about you. He started praying, and you know how he feels about that sort of thing. He's praying? For me? Mm-hmm. You certainly have him worked up about something. Raises the question, doesn't it? What question? Should I be praying? Not for me. I'm fine. Of course you are, sweetheart. Dr. Ron will be very pleased to get his monkey back. You should make an appointment and return it to him since you're the one who stole it. As great as that sounds, you see him twice a week. Can't you just drop it off next time you're in therapy? Did you mark the barrel bears down? Was I not supposed to? No. This is a collector's item. You are so in trouble. I have no luck. Molded on my steel busted. Just keep making all these with funky face. You'll never, never get, get rid, rid of all of us. I wanted to give this back to you. It's got a few dings. And is this wax? Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. And sorry about not coming back after I said I had to feed the meter two months ago. It all worked out fine. Why'd you come back today? What's happening in your world? 
Okay, well, what have my mom and brother told you? Because I don't want to repeat information. Tell him nothing. We're not talking about your mom or your brother. Then you better tell me something, because I'm fixing to neuter you. I was talking to the monkey. It talked to me first. What makes you think the monkey was talking to you? Well, it looked at me and talked. Why don't you walk me through the day the animals started talking to you? Well, I didn't get my promotion, and then the lion talked. Then I fainted. And then I had my session with you, and then the monkey talked. And then I met Eric. And then we talked. And then we kissed. And then we... Oh my God. That was right before your monkey broke my heart. Oh no, that was actually the fish. Did Eric break your heart or was it the fish? The fish. The fish told me to break Eric's heart, which broke my heart. And do you do everything the monkey and the lion and the fish tell you to do? Even if it causes you pain? Yeah, they kind of wore me out that way which is mainly why I'm here. I recommend we see each other three times a week. Isn't that a lot? Well, it's not five times a week. Which it looks like we can do. What do you prefer, noise or noise? tell you whether this was a personality flaw or an actual disorder? Taryn. Well, there's no sense pussyfooting around about it. We're her parents. If something is wrong, we should talk about it. I mean, you can't talk to us, can you, sweetheart? Uh, yeah. Could I have some more water, please? No, what I'd like to know is, is this an isolated incident, or can we expect more of these sods? I mean, God forbid you end up like the Olsen girl. Didn't she stab herself and then tell everybody that Dr. Ron tried to kill her? Mad as a balloon. We don't want that life for you. Darren, she doesn't want to discuss it. We have to respect that. Thank you. Fine, fine. We can pretend nothing is wrong. Not a care in the world. <laughs> Oh, isn't that your little married friend? Do you have a new friend? He doesn't work today. That is him and his wife. I have to pee. Working today. He's not. But the man lives here. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's it. You got this cry coming. Cry till you can't cry no more. I want to see salt deposits on your cheeks when you're through. I didn't think it would hurt so much. Seeing him with her in wedded bliss without me. Oh my God. He's going to grow old with her, isn't he? I'm going to die alone. Oh, will you die alone with me? Of course I will. Who else am I going to die alone with? Your brother? Ha. Huh. I mean, I, I, I can't think of any examples, actually. Do you like my brother? No, God, no. That was a random... No. Because <laughs> that'd be weird, huh? Yeah, I'll say. Hello. Excuse me. 
I'm Karen Tyler. Jay's mother? Oh, hi. Hi. I'm not quite sure how to bridge this subject, so I'm just gonna get right to it. My daughter's very upset about something. Really? Mm-hmm. And she won't discuss it with me, and Mahandra's not saying a word, so that leaves you. What do you say? You wanna be my hero? How upset is she, exactly? I'll tell you how upset she is if you tell me what she's upset about. I wish I knew. Thank you. Do you think Eric loves her? I mean, like, really loves her. She's his wife. I know, but, like, really, really loves her? Yes, he does. In fact, he loves me so much, he married me twice. If you hadn't wiped yourself with your first wedding vows, you wouldn't have had to get them renewed. Oh, sigh. Whatever scars I've given Eric are healing, and they'd heal a lot faster if you stopped picking at him and leave us alone. I was leaving you alone plenty before you came through that door. No, you were stalking my husband at his workplace, which is no longer his workplace, because he just quit. What? We're going back to Jersey. My sins have been paid for. Honeymoon purgatory is coming to an end. That's so sad. Honey ho, gotta go. You almost had him, huh? For a second there, I thought it was gonna be you kissing the groom on my wedding night. But only for a second. Hi, babe. Hi. Hi. The girls were just helping me pack your things. Hi, how you doing? Just ducky. You? As well. Everything go okay? Yeah, great. I gave my notice. Notice? I thought you were gonna quit. They need two weeks to find a replacement. They gave me a job and a bed. It's the least I can do. Eric, I want to go home. It's just for two weeks. We can stay in the honeymoon suite. I'm gonna put this in the car. The credit card you used to pay for your sins got declined. We're both reasonable women. Ha! <laughs> We're both capable of reason. Eric's mine now, and you're never gonna get your hooks in him again. Now you deal with that any way you like, as long as it doesn't involve me or my husband. But if you make trouble for us, I will make trouble for you. Bitch, are you threatening her? Yes, yes, I believe I am. Save him from her. What'd you just say? Save him from her. You heard me. You've got some nerve. Don't tell me to save him from her. Tell it to someone who gives it. I don't even like cocktail cherries. I don't think she's coming back. No. I'm pushing her away. Testing camera four. Testing one, two, three. Okay, I'll ask you one more time. Where's the monkey? Did he walk away? Can he walk away? Are you guys ambulatory? I want to be an honest woman. You are an honest woman. I just snuck in your back door. Your sister's dying inside, and here I am lying to her about our torrid little affair. Then tell her the truth. She can't handle the truth. It'll kill her. She's my best friend, and you're her brother. Besides, I can't be happy when she's sad. There are rules. Are you saying I make you happy? Yes, yes, you make me happy, but that's not the point. Mm. Mm. <laughs> are those video cameras? Yeah. Shut them off, shut them off, shut them off, shut them uh. off! How long have you had those? Are you recording us right now? Did you record us having sex? Oh my God. Is it on the internet? Oh my God. I'm a naughty black door woman. Back door woman. Oh my God. No one must know. We have to destroy your computer. Relax. No one knows anything. I knew it. <gasps> Shame on you. This is a violation of trust. Don't mom and dad to find out, huh? This would kill them. 
Mom already knows about the monkey. He said you'd get rid of them. I said I'd take care of them. They should be in a suitcase with cinder blocks. Not on a... Oh, my God. Is this a shrine? No, it's a display. What's gotten into you? You're acting all weird. Unusually weird. She's not weird. She's in pain. The woman has a broken heart. What the hell is wrong with you? Where'd you come from? I, uh, I, uh, followed you. I was worried. Oh, you don't need to worry. I feel much better now. Do you think she knows? Save him from her. Let's talk about that, shall we? Now, if experience has taught me anything, it's that following your instructions regarding Eric and Heidi causes me great pain. Save him from her! But I have to admit I'm intrigued. Why make me make a home if you're just gonna make me break a home? Is this a trick? Is this gonna turn out badly for me somehow? Ask the monkey. How did you get in here? The door? The door was locked. Yeah. Well, no, it wasn't. Uh, I just need to borrow your monkey. You're not borrowing my monkey, Jay. I kind of have to. They told me I had to save him from her, and the wax lion said the monkey would tell me why. Save who from her? She's going to kill him. She's gonna kill him? Is my monkey talking to you now, Jay? She's going to kill him. She's going to kill him, and it's all because of you. I think maybe you want Heidi to be a Black Widow murderess, because that makes her the bad guy, and you the good guy, and Eric the guy who can only be saved by your love. I don't want Heidi to be anything. I'm just trying to confirm or deny an anonymous tip. From who? Well, if I knew it, it wouldn't be anonymous. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, my God! What? Freshman suspected in Kappa Mu poisoning. Homecoming tradition suffered a devastating blow Thursday when Queen Mickey Mosler and Princess Kendra Crowther were allegedly poisoned at a sorority function. Sophomore Heidi Socket her maiden name is Socket. <laughs> Horrible, yet appropriate. Sophomore Heidi Socket, who was disqualified from the election for soliciting votes, suggested the poisoning may have been hazing victims retaliating against their tormentors. She did it. You know she did. She tried to kill those girls. I want to know how she was soliciting votes. I think we both know. Hepatitis outbreak renders debate team speechless. Click on that. The debate team suffered a staggering loss, blah, blah, blah. Senior Heidi Socket, who was suspended from the team, suggested the incident may have been the work of freshmen retaliating against their tormentors in a recent spate of hazing rituals. It's her M.O. If she can't win, then nobody can win. And if she can't have Eric, then nobody can have Eric? Seems like the type. Not to toot my own horn, but I think we both know why Eric's sticking around. It's not for a two-week notice, because we've been laying people off. Oh, God. As soon as Heidi figures that out, Eric's a dead man. We have to save him from her. That's our mission! You don't really think Heidi's going to murder her husband because of you. Oh, but she is. And it is because of me. Because the anonymous tipper said so. Have you been getting enough sleep? Yeah. She's not gonna kill him right here in this bar. She could slip him a Mickey. Not unless there's a freshman around to pin it on. Hi. Does Heidi have anger management issues? Cause she's been pitching at Tanty about something. Yeah, you. She thinks you're spying on us. That's dumb. She's been a little pissy lately, huh? Did she ever threaten you? You should cut her some slack. She's got lots of reasons to be pissy right now. For instance, are you spying on us? No. 
But I can leave if my presence makes you uncomfortable. You don't make me uncomfortable. But Heidi... No, I get it. I'll go. Spying. What are you up to, Heidi Socket Gods? Pictures. Please. Somebody already picked them up. What? Oh no, she's on to us. Explain us. If you had to poison the man you love, where would you do it? If I was Heidi, I wouldn't be trying to poison the man I love. I'd be trying to poison you. I hear you tromping around in there. Come on, sweetheart. You're not gonna open the door? Really? That makes me sad. Well, they accidentally gave me these down at the photo lab. I resisted looking because I respect you and your privacy. Jay, well, call me if you need anything. told me I had to save him from her in the wax line, but the monkey would tell me why. Save who from her? She's gonna... kill him? Save who from her? She's gonna... kill him? going you're on the clock till six i'm off the clock sick friend could die any minute we're holding a vigil hi these are all 100 percent cotton do you have something in a poly blend i'm looking for something stain resistant over there oh thanks i was wondering if i could get an advance from petty cash for um vigil supplies and maybe a baseball bat hi sorry to keep interrupting could you help me find a size he'll be right with you did I mention my friend could die any minute? <laughs> Would you mind? Let's talk about your state of mind, Tyler. Clear as a bell, thanks. You psychopath. You knew it. This is theft. Actually, I believe it's invasion of privacy. You are one damaged good sister. Spying, stalking, photographing. You picked the wrong girl to tangle with, crazy ass. Till death do us part. That was the vow. I plan on keeping the promise. If you lay one finger on him, he's my husband. I will lay whatever on whomever, wherever I want. Excuse me. I'll come back later. She's going to kill him. I know. You're never going to see Eric again. She's going to kill him. Don't let her leave. to see you again, Mr. 
Miss Tyler, looks like you've been busy today. You like your therapist, Jane? My client's relationship with her therapist is protected under New York State law. Do you like your therapist, Jay? Uh, sure. I don't mean to be rude, but there's some place I need to be. Land the plane, Mike. What is this about? D did she assault the man? You assaulted Dr. Ron? Violated is more accurate. What did you do? What did you do? I don't did say a word. What, what exactly are you accusing her of? I'm accusing her of breaking into her therapist's office. Disabling the security system, stealing the surveillance footage from her own therapy sessions, and leaving a number two in the good doctor's desk drawer. And I'm not talking about the pencil. It wasn't me. I didn't do any of that. This is all Heidi. Have you Googled the woman? She's a menace. She set me up. We let it go. She's not a suspect. And you should count your lucky stars. She's not pressing charges. Of course she's not pressing charges. Murderers don't press charges. It calls unwanted attention to themselves. This murder angle is new to me. We should sidebar. No, sidebar, a man is about to die. I need to use it now, or there will be a very sweet, very cute, very dead man from Jersey on the slab. Chat with you outside for a second. Yes, please. I'm not stupid, Eric. I know why you don't want to go. I'm sorry. Would you rather be married to her? No. Forget to take your vitamins. These are her employee evaluations for the last two years. I've been doing them monthly since I was promoted to management. See, the trouble really started in January during the post-holiday slump, but her mood's been all over the map for Thank a while. Thank you so much. You've been very helpful. Please do not send her to jail. If you release her into my custody, I will watch her like a hawk. Oh my God. She's on the lamb. Set me up. Get out! Nice frame job with a stool sample. Where's Eric? He doesn't want to see you. Eric, if you're too weak to yell, just knock on something. I'll find you. What's going on? You're still alive. Listen to me. Heidi is trying to poison you. This is pathetic. Heidi, what's she talking about? She knows you still care about me, and she'd rather see you dead than in my arms. What? I'm feeling a little woozy. Should I be alarmed? She's gotten to you already. We need to induce vomiting. Wow, my mouth is really dry. Oh, my God. What? what? Eric. It's a male potency drug. I switched it out with your one-a-days. I got it from a busboy at the barrel. 
Did you tell him it was for me? It was sort of implied. It's a trick. She's trying to give your body time to absorb the toxins. I, uh, I don't think it's a trick. Well, how? Oh. Oh, God. So you're not trying to kill him? You're just trying to... I know what she was trying to do. But... But Queen Mickey and, and Princess Kendra, the debate team! When she has a problem, she poisons it. Hazing victims retaliating against their tormentors, please! Hazing was a big problem on campus. Those people were targeted. She had nothing to do with it. Okay. Well, maybe I, I didn't get all the facts, and the internet isn't always accurate, but she's trying to kill you. Stop it. But she is. She's Stop. I should probably go. the thing I think you're cleaning up right now. I was framed. It was all a big frame job. You. Save him from her. What does that even mean? You told me to save him from her. You said she was going to kill him. I'm expecting a patient, Jay. They can wait. Me and the monkey are going to have words. I'm sorry. You look very familiar. Are you a friend of my daughter's? No, I, uh, I work in the building. That must be it. I'm Karen. Angie. Angie Olsen? That Olsen girl? Uh-uh. Angie something else. I don't mean to pry, but didn't you used to be a patient of Dr. Franz? No. Nope. Uh-uh. What's the knapsack for? Nothing. Angie, I... Mm -hmm. Glad to see you taking some initiative, but I... I think this is misdirected. Uh, we, we can work it out some other way, you know? Just look what you're doing. If you take them back, you take them both, and then you have them back to life. The back to life. There's a time you gotta go and show them going back, you know. Was this all a big setup? Get me to turn a few tricks for the universe, break my heart, and then ship me off to the crazy house before I can squeal? Do you feel yourself getting worked up right now? I'd like to de-escalate that feeling. Save him from her. He's not in any danger. You lied. Why'd you lie? What is this about? How would you feel if I referred you to another therapist? Lick the light switch. Wait, what? It's not a rejection. Lick the light switch. That's disgusting! It's not disgusting to want you to have the best care. I was talking to the monkey. If you'd like to speak to the monkey privately, I could step into the next room. Would you mind? Not at all. Lick the light switch. Why me? Why do you talk to me? If you lick the light switch, I'll tell you. You ask a lot of questions. I'm sorry, but you do look like that girl that stabbed herself and caused all the trouble for Dr. Ron. 
Do you ever think that maybe Dr. Ron caused all that trouble for himself? Do you ever think that maybe that girl stabbed the wrong person? I need then I lick the light switch. Lick the light switch first. How do I know you're not lying to me right now? Lick the light switch. Tell me. Tell me why you talk to me! Because you listen. <sighs> that cable could snap at any moment, and we could plunge to our deaths this very evening. I don't want to die, do you? No, of course not. Because life is too precious, don't you think? Well, you're like my youngest. She doesn't talk to me. I shouldn't complain. I never really talked to my mother either. You must have a mother. I have a good mother. I'd like to think I'm a good mother. Well, why doesn't your daughter talk to you then? I don't know. Why don't you talk to your mother? I don't think she's ready to hear what I've got to say. My daughter probably thinks the same of me. She'd be right if she were going to talk about stabbing a person. I don't see how that could be anything but disconcerting. me and I'm not saving anybody from her or him or anyone. Have I told you about my baby girl? She, she, she's three. Her name's Olivia. Mom? In here! Well, thank God. Jay? Where have you been? The police are looking for you. The police, Jay. You are evading arrest right now. Do you know what kind of trouble you're in? What is wrong with your hair? You must be Sharon. Hi. Nice to meet you. Police! Ah! Get your hands where I can see them. Drop the monkey. Doc, hold this. Excuse me, counselor. I'm sorry how all this turned out, Jade, but you need much more help than I can give you. He said that to you? Mm hmm And then he gave me a referral. But stabbing yourself, Angie, really? I just wanted him to see how much pain I was in. He exposed the rawest, most vulnerable depths of my soul and then just walked away. That doesn't warrant setting the man on fire. But I thought he needed me. I thought we shared a connection. But he's already got a new connection. He sees her five times a week. Oh dear, five times. Just be thankful you don't have her problems. She's a retail clerk. How many problems can she possibly have? I hate her. My daughter's a retail clerk. Oh. oh. She is not a criminal. She's a misunderstood delinquent. I better not see any bruises on her wrists. Dr. Ron? What's going on here? Mom, I tried to tell you the police are looking for Jay. No, they're not. Look who I found. Angie Olson. 
Didn't you? Tr oh. Hi, Dr. Ron. You're not allowed within 500 yards of me. I know. It's really good to see you, though. Uh-huh. She's not allowed within 500 yards of me. Now, now, Angie has something very important to say. And you might want to get your keys out and uncuff my daughter. Tell them, Angie. Well... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She was gonna torch you. And frame you for it, sweetheart. Sorry. But I'm calm now. That power outage saved your life. Save, Save him, him from, from her. her. Come on, Miss Girl. On your feet. Uh, grab that murder kit for me, would you? I am not getting in the elevator with her. Bye, Karen. Thanks. Bye. Good luck, dear. Crazy. But you talked her back from the edge. I do have some wisdom to impart, sweetheart. I know. I'm sorry. I guess wisdom runs in the family. Thank God. I have to pee like a racehorse. Are you gonna be okay? I think so. No harm done, thanks to you. Jay, I want you to have him. He's a little creepy now, and I'm not sure I want him around. Thanks. Hi. I have an apology and an explanation. Which do you want first? The apology. I am so sorry. I don't think anybody has ever been as sorry as I am. What happened was all sorts of wrong, but I can explain. You don't have to. Oh, but it's good, see? Somebody was gonna get killed. Just not you. The anonymous tip was kind of vague, and I... Jay, how do you went back to Jersey? She did? She's looking for our apartment, and when she finds it, I'm going back to Jersey, too. Everything's weird now.